Imagine yourself in the worst of all possible situations. Imagine yourself as one of the disciples. Or as one of the women who followed Jesus. Imagine that he is no longer among you because he is dead. You saw him die. You saw them bury him in the tomb. There is no doubt. There is no hope. There is no future. You huddled together behind a locked door, fearing that those who tortured and killed him will come and find you next. What will happen to you, to your family, to your friends? There is no doubt. There is no hope. There is no future. You heard him say when he was alive that the Son of Man most must be given to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day raised again. Forgotten these words, they hold no hope for you now. The horror of crucifixion is still fresh in your mind. Nails were thrust into his hands, the hands that fed thousands, the hands that healed the dying, now pierced with hatred. Spikes were driven into his feet, the precious feet that walked miles and miles to reach one's soul was now crippled by hell's fury. See and hear him in agony there, dying right in front of you, when there was nothing that you could do, you could think about your part in all of it, and wonder what you could have done differently. I've been frightened and hiding for days, but now, it's Sunday. You were in the garden that first Sunday morning. You didn't see a closed tomb as you had expected, but a gaping hole. You saw two angels sitting where Jesus' body should be, and they tell you that Jesus is risen from the dead. And then you see him, Jesus. Not dead, not cold, not lifeless, not gone forever. Jesus, alive, before you, talking, looking in your eyes. You run to tell the disciples the good news. Jesus the Christ lives. I have seen the Lord. together behind a locked door, many of you in disbelief, unsure of what it all means. And then Jesus comes and stands right beside you and says, Peace be with you. You have seen the Lord. Imagine yourself in the best of all possible situations. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who was dead, is now alive again. The terror of yesterday is gone, and the fear of tomorrow has vanished. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, Mankind can be forgiven of sin. Because he has been raised from the dead, mankind can live forever. There is no doubt. We have a hope. We have a future. Jesus is alive. Jesus, Jesus is, is alive. alive.